Okay, so I just finished filming slightly more of an edited video on my thoughts about the Dollar Tree detangling brush, which is like the chibi version of the Swiss Co. I'm gonna have to look on Target's website to see how much I paid for the Swiss Co. But the Swiss Co is basically like the knockoff of the um, the tangle the tangle teaser. I think I probably paid almost ten dollars for this one back in November of 2017. By the way, just for fun, I brushed my cat out with this brush this morning. I just rinsed it out. She seemed to like it. I really like this brush. I think I like it much more, of course, just than the Dollar Tree version. But the Dollar Tree version isn't bad, though. It's just not like wonderful because I'll tell you if I feel like a brush is gonna like pull out more of my hair than it should I just don't want to use that brush and I did feel like it pulled out a few strands of hair that would not have been pulled out if I were just using like the Swiss coat or a fine tooth comb. I have been experimenting with um brushes and combs for the last few months because I was reading on the long hair care form which I do sometimes read but I I don't post to because I just I this is my whole take on posting to a forum I have my own blog if I want to write it on something or post on something I'll post on my YouTube channel or I'll post on my blog I'm not going to post on you know another forum I just don't want to because I have these social media sites that I've created my hair is doing good so yeah and then somebody asked very thoughtfully like when am I gonna live stream next I don't really plan out live streams on this channel but if somebody really wants to watch a like a scheduled live stream that I do it's not about hair though so I don't know if people on, that like this channel will be into that, but you can go to Aya Katz's channel on every Friday night at um, 6.45. We do a live stream. We just talk about different issues. Sometimes it's a little bit more of a political nature. I did um, actually do the live stream this past Friday night on my main channel, California Art and Mountain Life. Right away, I feel like I need to be more careful. Like, if I feel like I'm pulling out of here, I feel like I wasn't going gently enough. But with this brush, I already feel like you can't go quite as gently as you can with this brush. I mean, it's just a given. It's This is a nice, sturdy brush. It's nice, hard, finely plastic. This is, like, hollow... Dollar Tree product plastic. But let's say you were interested in beginning your long hair journey and you don't have a lot of money for supplies. I think a lot of people, and this is something I've always said, they get super intimidated because you'll have these long hair like people that use a lot of really expensive products. But if you go more naturally, you don't even need to spend lots of money on those products what you can do is you can go to the cooking section of any store and buy organic extra virgin coconut oil i even bought like some of the name brand hair coconut oil the other day and i laughed at myself because i'm like you just, I just went to sprouts or something or um standard brothers or target and i bought the cooking version of this and got three times as much or if you really want to save money i think costco they have like a big giant tub of the extra virgin coconut oil that would last you forever. You could use it for, I don't know, cooking. I don't cook a lot with coconut oil personally, but let's say you wanted to make a dessert maybe. It might work for that. So yeah, this brush is okay, but I still feel like I like this brush better. So I've done this half of my hair with the Dollar Tree Detangling Brush. I'm going 
too fast. Right away, I can always feel if I'm going too fast in my hair. I was watching some YouTube like reviews of this brush or just brushes in general, and people, they want to get through their hair faster. But I feel like for me, the thing that really helped me like grow my hair longer was you need to slow down and be okay with taking your time combing out your hair. You know, you can't just rush through it. You can call me Rapunzel, that's fine. I just didn't see what the comments were because I wasn't looking at it right then. I don't mind being called Rapunzel. I think it's pretty cool. Like, I like, if you ever read the original Grimm's Fairy Tale about Rapunzel 2, it's a very fascinating story. I don't find it offensive. I think it's really cool. It has, they also say the Grimm's Fairy Tale has some, like, basis and other folkloric traditions. And yeah, I think, I like the name Rapunzel. It's fun. I even call myself Rapunzel sometimes. Even years ago when my hair was more like here and here, but it was still, you know, long and long for our culture because unless you're from India, where many, many women have long hair, it's just rare that women wear their hair longer. But you know, that's another thing I was thinking about regarding seeing India. Like, I feel like people kind of put India down a lot. And I really respect Indian people a ton because they have a lot of ideas on natural hair. And I don't know why, but it kind of bothers me when people just don't, like, they pick out what could be, like, not so good, like, videos coming out of India when turn on our own TV and what kind of content do we have? I think like Indian fashion, Indian videos, YouTubers in general, they're far more like modest than like the average, like what you're going to see just out of, you know, mainstream programming YouTubers here in the West. So plus they have a lot of good ideas on hair care, but the thing that I just find so problematic about how people feel about India is that people are okay with hair extensions, but do you know where your hair extensions are coming from? Look, I understand like maybe if you've had cancer or you think it's aesthetically beautiful, but do research because not all hair extensions come from an ethical source. Apparently, the people who donate their hair to the temple are okay, some of the people they talked about, with their hair going to um, extension making companies. But those people are not benefiting one cent. And I actually watched a really interesting documentary about this. And this one man and we, has gone to Vietnam and he's trying to be more ethically about sourcing the hair extensions and paying the people like actual decent amount for their hair so they don't, they're just not exploited because the whole hair extension industry is very exploitative and it, I, even if the people who donate their hair to those temples are okay with it I think you just have to ask yourself are you okay like you know just I feel like the way people talk about India but yet they have this beautiful hair and they use a lot of these natural methods I just don't I just feel like we need to appreciate all cultures right you know and treat everybody with respect and the hair extension industry, unless you're using synthetic hair or you know the source, it's not the most ethical industry, you know? And some people, yes, they can't grow their hair long. I, I get it, you know, they want to wear hair extensions. I totally think that's fine as long as you just consider, like, the source of where these hair extensions are coming from, you know? Just think about it a little bit. But that's just my opinion. Maybe. Um, also too, like, I think if you do wear hair extensions, like, just research it, make sure it's coming from a reputable source, and I find it interesting that in Western culture we continue to, like, value, like, extreme haircuts and things like that, but yet, 
the culture, like India, where people have long hair, like people are kind of like, oh my gosh, like, and don't really want to understand it, but yet they have some of the best ideas on natural hair care on the planet. Like, really? When I started implementing a lot of ideas out of India for my hair, I feel like genetically, yes, my hair grows long, but the henna treatments, I haven't done one for a bit, for a couple months, but I want to do one again. Henna, it naturally conditions your hair. Coconut oil, just all their ideas. Like, they have some really good ideas on natural hair care that supersede all those products that you feel. Like, I bought... Like, I bought that Cantu leave-in conditioner, but I sort of thought about it afterwards. I'm like, it has shea butter as an ingredient. Wouldn't I just be better off using the natural shea butter that I bought? And I'm just kind of deviating here, I guess. Anyway. A little bit of a deviation. So anyway. Yeah. This Dollar Tree brush, it's okay, but not really vibing it. I'm so glad I left my hair in a sleep braid though. I just left it in a braid overnight, yesterday into the day, so I didn't have to. Because long hair can be a lot of work. As long as you, um, Take the time later to like, you know, what's the word? To like, detangle your hair. Then you can put it in a braid and yeah, it's a little bit less work later, but it's still work. It's not, it doesn't take care of itself. Like, but I love having long hair because that's just my personality and I've had long hair. I know this is the longest my hair has ever been but I've had hair on the longer side most of my life. I tried shorter hair in the past and it just wasn't for me. Like, And the only reason I ever tried it was because other people said I'd look better. So that's another thing too. Like, I don't know, Western culture says they're so pro everybody expressing their own style, but let's say you're kind of like a woman that has longer hair and you, I don't know, your parents were more hippie-ish in style, they didn't use a lot of products in their hair, go to the salon all the time. Like, just when I was a kid, and in college I guess it kind of got to me, because I succumbed to finally cutting my hair, which I don't regret, but I wish I could have maybe been a little bit stronger back then, and realizing, hey, having really long hair is beautiful, and you don't need to cut it. Like. Maybe things are different now with the younger people today. I don't know. I still see a lot of, you know, like the hair cutting, promoting the hair cutting, which is another thing that I do find interesting is that people that promote that content, I feel like they, they don't respect women with long hair or men with long hair. They just want you to grow your hair long for the gratification of you cutting their hair. Don't buy into that. It's just so, ew, like, I really, I have to be honest with you, the more I've learned about this, the more disgusted I am with that cool segment on YouTube. Like, you think that's cool, that somebody grows their hair so they can cut it, so you're gratified? Like, you can't just buy, like, a wig head and cut the hair yourself, or maybe just grow your own hair and then cut it. You're gratified by other people, like, literally. Like, most of the people that watch my channel are not like that. But yeah, anybody who advocates like hair cutting because they think it's exciting to see someone else cut their hair, I really think you need to check, because I believe in the no harm principle, I feel like you're wanting to do something that harms other people. Or hurts other people. Like, I think admiring one long hair is cool, but the wanting people to grow their hair long or cut their hair because you think it's exciting is not there's no i'm just never going to be down with that segment on youtube and something that popped up was what is this like i was totally traumatized it was just like yep 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 i can't even believe 
That said, when I YouTube exist, I'm just so not good. Just have some retrospection if you're one of these people who thinks that like somebody getting their hair cut is exciting when they have long hair. Please think. Like, okay, do you want to be a hairstylist and style people's hair? Then I would kind of get it. But if you're just like into this whole, oh, I think it's exciting that people have their long hair cut, like for my gratification, no, you're so wrong because that's doing harm. Like, just, ha you don't even have to be religious. It's just called having like ethics and a moral compass. You know that's not right. You know most people, they grow their hair long, they might cut it for themselves, but not to excite you personally. It just oh, it's so, it's so many, and then, okay, that's what I'm leading up to because the genre is, the thing that popped up on my feed was forced haircut, like implied violence. It's kind of a violent act and I hate that. As a peaceful person, no, it's so icky on so many levels. So you just need to maybe rethink why you want to do that. And my own long hair is one thing. Big my own short hair is another thing. Being part of a group that thinks it's fun to watch women have forced haircut, even if it's just term magnetization. Because you know, some of that video footage, it doesn't look like it's all like consensual and that really bothers me and I was like, why did this pop up on my feed? I was so traumatized by it. But I feel like more people need to speak out against that and start seeing hair extensions because those two kind of play into each other because it makes me think, hmm, did some of that play into people that were, that became part of the hair extension market? I don't know. Like you have to just think these things through and not all parts of YouTube are good. Some parts are just scary, and that, that is the scary part of YouTube, buddy. So I don't know about this brush. I'm just gonna try, try as I may to just focus on the more positive side of YouTube. Aspects of YouTube. I like, I really do, like once your hair is detangled, this brush really does, does flow through your hair nicely. Like compared to this one, is this one also? They're about the same. This one's heavier. Like if you don't like, I like a heavier brush, but maybe if you don't like holding something heavier, maybe this brush is better. Huh? I don't, okay. This is why I don't blow dry my hair. I don't apply heat to my hair because I do natural styling technique, okay? With natural styling technique, I don't put heat into my hair. I live in California, it's hot. Why would I want to pour some more heat into my hair? I'll just, I do natural hair. I prefer wavy hair over straight hair. So yeah, I'm not, not gonna be blue dry my hair. It just puts damage onto your hair that's not necessary. I'm not gonna do that. done a bun drop before guys did you watch maybe i'll do one in the future if if i can get, get myself worked up to it but i do have a bun drop on my channel you can watch it have you watched it yet guys it's there i mean it might not be i don't know if it's the kind that you want to see or what you were hoping to see but yeah i do have a bun drop on my channel do you want to see it? It's there. Maybe I will do a new one later. I just don't know when 
Like, I, I don't promise anything because I'm not the kind of person that enjoys, like, feeling like I have to do something if it's not something that is in my mind to do. Everything I do has to be something that I want to do late from the end. Like, I'm very self-driven on, based on, like, yeah, I know a bunch of super duper popular, but here's the problem. I don't like wearing my hair up, so it would require putting my hair up. And I've worn my hair up with clips, but I just don't, I'm not like a bun person. Like, I never wear a bun. So I would have, it's like, I'm not saying I'll never do another one. It's just not naturally inclined thing to do. Plus, I feel like there's so many bun jobs. Like, it's pretty, but I don't know what I add new to the genre. I don't know. I'll try it again. I will try to do another bun drop. People really, really want to see that. I just can't promise a date. But I'll try. Overall, I'm just not, I feel like this brush takes out more hair. So I don't know if I'm a fan of it. I go pretty gentle too, so like maybe it's just because I haven't brushed my hair today, but I just I feel like I see more hair coming out of it than when I used to Swiss coat. I personally I'm sold on the Swiss coat brush more. And I was thinking for the longest time that just wide tooth comb, but recently I just started missing the way that my hair looked when I brushed it. And then I picked up the Swiss Co brush again and I was like kind of falling in love with it again. Whereas for several months, I was just doing wide tooth combing of my hair with minimal brushing. And that's an interesting question. If you could grow it 100 feet, it'd be cool, but I'm five foot two. Three, barely. <laughs> like, how many times is five going to a hundred? You know, it'd be a lot of hair to carry behind me. It's kind of a fun, you know, fairy tale question. But yeah, it'd be interesting <laughs> to see how that would work out. I guess if I lived in a tower and I didn't have to go anywhere and I just had like room service that was brought to my towers, <laughs> then yeah. But if I had to live daily life. Um, riding a bike and doing other things like this might be tricky, <laughs> but it'd be interesting to try for a day. I I love the story of Rapunzel though. It doesn't. I think it's cool. I think people who have long hair are into those kind of stories or the story of Samson, just like you know stories, whether you know folkloric. They're kind of cool. Thank you, Starman. Oh, I guess so. That would be interesting, a thousand foot tower. That would be kind of cool. I'd be interesting. Okay, so I went back to Swiss Co for that second strand that I separated up this side. Just really, really like Swiss Co brush better than Dollar Tree. I mean, really, is it a no-brainer? Dollar Tree brush is a dollar, so the skill brush is like ten dollars. It's not horrible though, it's just not wonderful either. But if you're on a budget, 
definitely Dollar Tree has some really cool stuff. Like we found some leave-in conditioner there and um VO5, they sell VO5 and some other brands. Like definitely if you're on a budget, Dollar Tree does have some good things for hair. I got some clips from Dollar Tree. I also bought some decorative craft ribbons. I'm going to make another video with that. Yes, to the Thousand Foot Tower, and I'm wearing this like wolf shirt with a green skirt. Wolf shirt, green skirt. Greenish, aquamarineish. Yes. Dollar Tree brush. I don't know. Three out of ten. It detangles your hair, but I feel like it pulls on my hair. And I don't know. this one can be for my cat. Okay, I'm gonna use that for my cat. This kind of brush up cat. Cause I like the softer bristles. I think it's good for a cat, but not for a human. I want to be gentle with my hair. I don't want to pull out my hair. Discord. I don't know what that is. Can you explain? I don't know what a fan Discord is. Is that a hair name? Uh, I can Google it later and find out, but I don't know what some fan is at the moment. I'm going to have to look it up and see what that means. And you can follow me on Instagram because I'm sweet berries, I guess. I'll start leaking my Instagram to my main page. I think I need to do that because I have a hair Instagram and I have a regular Instagram and a lot of people found me like via my main channel, but I think it's just too complicated. You have to click on too many different things. I have an email that you can communicate with me, but I'll start posting I think my hair Instagram, I haven't done a lot with it, but maybe I'll start updating it more. But I also have an email on my main page if you really want to like message me and I do check my email. I try to check it, but I do check it. Well, I could try doing something like that, I guess. Maybe I'll look into seeing what I can do. The only thing of my concern is if it's a chat group because of some of the comments, like you guys are all really nice, but just some of the comments that people leave in videos, if I can't moderate it all the time, my only concern is like if people would go into it as site like that and spam it or just like leave comments about me or other people that wouldn't 
be good. Whereas I feel like with YouTube, you can kind of control that. I just feel like it, I'll look into seeing if I can do it though. If it's something that people are interested in and would like, I'll just have to see how it works. Yeah, but if it's something where I have to pay for like moderators and things like that, I don't know about that because I'm trying to make money eventually with my YouTube channels again and they're not monetized right now. So I'm going to be really upfront. I'm not going to want to pay for something extra. So it sounds like you have to pay for that service. I'll have to look it up. I appreciate that Starman. You were wondering where you were, or I was anyway. It's like, I haven't seen Starman in a few days, but I'll look into doing the Discord thing. I'll see how it goes. Yes, this brush, the Swiss code the tingling brush, it's so much better than this Dollar Tree tingling brush. Okay, so it's free. See, I just don't know anything about it. I'm gonna have to look it up. Hi. Thank you for sharing that then. I'll have to get on it. But in the meantime, if you really, really, really do want to follow me, I do have an Instagram. It's called Sweetberries. S-W-E-E-T-B-E-A-R-I-E-S. And Starman follows me there. A couple other people that use that I used to communicate with followed me there, but I don't really talk to them as much anymore. So I've had people that find me there. Like if you want to just follow me right now before I can get around to doing a Discord thing, I post on Instagram, and my Instagram handle is Sweetberries S W E E T B E A R I E S, and you can follow me on there too. That is another place. And I have a website. Like, if you look, you can... It might take a lot of clicking around. Just look for Instagram. I'm Sweetberries, S-W-E-E-T-B-E-R-I-E-S on that site. So that's probably, before I can get around to making a Discord thing, that would be a way, like, if you want to follow me a bit more than just on YouTube, I don't always post more there than YouTube though, depending on the day and how I feel. Right? That brush just took a tumble bumble into the sink. <laughs> My hair just feels really soft after doing shea butter. I like it. Discord thing. So, um, yeah, I'm wearing a skirt. It's like a green pencil skirt thing. I'm making a more edited video about my impressions of this brush that I give a 3 out of 10. This is good for detangling, but it feels like it pulls your hair out. And you can see my skirt a bit more in that. Not sure when I'll get that video up and running, but I did film, got like four and a half minutes of footage before my camera died.
away just the thought, rather than paying to go to a sweat steam room, just live in Southern California, walk yourself in the bathroom and clean your hair, and I'll do the exact same thing. I can tell you that right now, it's probably 125 degrees in this room. Oh my gosh. I'm not saying that it gets as hot as a steam room, but I just find the whole idea of a steam room redundant where I live. In the land of eternal summer. I actually got down to 80 degrees this month, or last month in August, at, towards the end, when it had been up an hour and six every day. That's amazing. Sure, I can do that. Like, if I make a Discord, we can talk about many things. We can talk about long hair, we can talk about skirts. And if you guys want to get together and talk about, like, ideas that you have, I don't know, about long hair, or maybe just supporting others who like long hair, because I think we do need more of that. Like, just supportive people, because that's the thing I really like about this long hair channel, and just people who like long hair. Like, some people, they act like, oh, people who like long hair are so weird, but they're actually, a lot of them are more into like modest fashion, whereas like you look at mainstream fashion and nothing against it, but it's all like real skimpy bikinis. Like I think wearing skirts are pretty. Like it's nice, like just nice fashion like that. You know, or just feminine fashion, or it could be masculine too, but there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's great. good okay well if you want to help like moderate to I saw the comment yeah so we can talk about it I will look into doing this okay so
Okay, so yeah, we can talk about all that. And my day's doing good. I hope your day's doing good too, Starman and and Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Once your hair is brushed up, flimsy brush is okay. It's just not best. Okay, but it's not the best. brush like I think I got my hair detangled but like I said I like the Swiss Co one better because I feel like this one still you know, I feel like it pulls out too much hair.
about leaving your hair in a braid. If you decide to, um, like the next day you don't have a lot of time to recomb it, you could just could do a quick combing. Like I did like a very nice extra combing of my hair I feel like today, which I feel is really good and it's giving my hair a lot of softness. I really like this. Because I don't like, I did heat up that oil, the shea butter the other day, and then today, just being warm in California, the oil heats itself up. So, yeah, it's kind of like an impromptu hot oil treatment for my hair. So, anyway, final verdict between the two brushes. This one, the Stellar Tree Detangling Brush, is okay if you don't have a lot of money and you don't want to spend $10 on a brush, which I totally get. But I think the um, the Swiss Cut Detangle brush is really good. I haven't tried the Tangle Teaser and I don't even think I'm going to bother because this one has a handle and I like a brush with a handle and I've noticed that the Tangle Teaser doesn't have a handle so I think this brush is really good. I like it. I had no clue that I was going to end up loving the Swiss Cut brush so much. Anyway, thanks for watching.